Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the page builder. For example, if someone asks you for a page builder or even if you go to wordpress.org and type page builder, then the first thing which will come up uh, in your mind or on the WordPress repository is Elementor page builder and some other page builders like Beaver Builder or um, WB Bakery or something like that but what people don't know that most plugin most good plugins that are better than over 90% of the available plugins available page builders uh, are behind a shadow for example just like this the landing page builders by uh, plugin ops so this is the plugin that creates a beautiful landing page but uh, nobody actually talks about it even on YouTube if you search for landing page builder by plugin ops then except plugin ops itself uh, nobody else talks about it and that is why it's not popular enough so uh, you can know about this today I'm gonna tell you how good this plugin is and how can you make beautiful landing pages for your website with this plugin so without further ado let's start installing the plugin first come to your dashboard click on plugins add new in the search bar type landing page builder and type the name of author plugin ops and install the landing page builder one and activate the plugin if you watch the video uh, for this point then uh, it is requested to please subscribe our channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our future updates and it's also good for our channel so we bring uh, more informative videos for you when the plugin is activated come to your pages click on add new to make a new page give your page a name I'll name it landing page and publish it then click on the button edit with plugin of page builder after that they provide you almost a thousand formats a pre-made uh, landing pages page designs and which you can choose and then edit by yourself select the select one that matches your business or your requirements and then we will start editing the page for example I'm making this food website click on select and click next after clicking next you will see this edit page and it's uh, look like similar to Elementor but it's a lot simpler and a lot lightweight and the page will be a lot faster than other websites so uh, here is the template which uh, they already provided you and now you can add a new section insert a design block or uh, first you can change the current block which they already provide you so I'll not make any change for uh, the images but for the text and logos we must change this logo to our own then click on the logo and the editor will be appeared here click on upload and choose the one from your media library or if you have it on your PC then click on upload files and click on select file choose the location where your logo is Let me check in my media library maybe I have the file in the media for this website I'll use this barbecue logo click select and here it is now you can uh, resize or you can choose width custom width or image alignment to center left or right or default so I'll leave it uh, as center okay now the logo uh, is done uh, if you want to change this timer or even remove this timer 
then you can do it uh, for changing the text just click on this text block and the editor will be appeared on the left and you can change the text to whatever you want to you provide the best fresh fruits in And to change the text in here click on this and the editor will op be open for this one and you can change this lorem epsom text to whatever you want okay now uh, let's come to the add new block section add new section and you can choose the number of columns uh, you want in this uh, new section so I'll do the two column you can add a block uh, design to this one or this one you have plenty of blocks uh, whichever you want you can insert images you can insert widgets you can insert contact forms uh, any anything you want so uh, these are the widgets text editor headings buttons images image gallery opt-in forms menu form builders anything almost anything you want uh, so for example let me add a new uh, video to this blog just drag it and leave it here now click on this video blog to edit this so there will be your video mp4 file the wbebm file the video thumbnail and all other things so if you have a video then you can upload it and upload uh, image for that and it will be appeared here uh, but in case you are planning to add a YouTube video then uh, you will just have to click on add widgets then scroll down to the HTML shortcode HTML editor and drag it to your section now click on the section to open the editor now open YouTube and type in your video for example I don't have any video so I'll uh, copy a short from uh, another YouTube channel so I'm picking uh, this video uh, an introduction to how to grow your own fruits copy the link or just open the video and click on share button below the video which is here and click on embed click in this iframe copy the code and come to your page and paste the code in the HTML section of uh, your blog and here it is your video will be played here okay for another section we will add some text heading and uh, some icons click on add block you might notice that uh, this video is um, overlapping the other column so we will fix the uh, width for this video just edit this and in the width just type 100 percent and leave it and your video will be fit into the box okay now click on add a widget uh, in the next column click on new widgets and grab uh, an icon the anchor and drag it uh, to your section where you want to place it now click on the icon to 
change it or to modify the colors so uh, this is the library from font awesomes and if you don't know about this then uh, search on google for font awesome and there will be codes for all fonts and uh, with listed with the names and the icons so i know some of the fonts and okay they also uh, have their faces here mentioned in this select option click on the icon which you want i'll choose this scale and that's it add some margins to it to look some good from the top or just type in the number uh, how much margins you want and then leave it now uh, come to the widget option and add a new widget click on new widget and grab the headings and leave it in the section you want to add it to click on the heading edit your heading get the best and align center and add another widget which will be a text box click on edit and then click on new widget and grab a text editor and leave it Now click on text editor to edit the text. This is amazing stuff. Set some margins. Click on advanced option or in, into the margins. the left and right will be 20 and 20 both so this is looking like weird uh, this is maybe the bottom margin and this is the left so this is how will it look like now uh, adding a new design block uh, is simple if you click on insert design block then you have plenty of uh, pre-made designs which you can uh, add just by clicking the insert button so uh, i'll add the pricing like this so we can change it after adding it changing the price the strategies and the buy now links and then add another design block which will be the testimonials so there will be some customer reviews in the testimonial section which is very important for landing pages like this by clicking uh, each testimonial you can change the review the name of the author and the uh, post title and the picture of the um, person separately for uh, both testimonials you can add as much as you want uh, if you want add another two testimonials then uh, click on insert design block and add another testimonial again so uh, that was all for today's video you can make thousands of possible uh, landing pages with this plugin 
so uh, please share your thoughts in the comments and please let us know if you like this video uh, and please give this video a thumbs up and please also subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates thank you